Alright, so starting this video off right away, guys, we're going to open up this right here, which is 2 times 91 plus overall free agent bounty account players. So let's see what we can get out of this one. Um, hopefully better than a 91. Let's see. I'm covering my eyes for this just in case we get something crazy. Alright, hold up. Colts? Who's on with the Colts? Michael Pittman? It's not that bad because technically speaking, we're not going to use this card. Actually, no mind. I'm not. I can't even use him. So I'm just going to quick sell him. I was going to say he's not that bad because at least I could use him for the all time Bengals squad. But the problem is, no, I can't because we already have three running backs and he has 90, I think, two speed, which is not usable for us. All right, second card. Hey, 94 overall, um, Gerard Everett. So this actually is a big W card. Um, well, not really a big W card for us because we don't really need it for the all-time Bengals squad. But it gives me enough training to be able to actually open up. Let's go back here. Store over to training. A mystery pack. Because free agent, free agent, uh... What's called re rolls or how much? 21,500. Okay. Okay, combine pack. Um, first card 86 solo man Thomas. Yeah. All right. Whatever. These I'm not opening up. I, I swear, EA Sports is just making it ridiculous price tags for all those cards, and I refuse to give in to that crazy thing they're trying to do nowadays. Nonetheless, though, we got a new upgrade to the all Cincinnati Bengals squad. Also, a little side note here. I'm now 53 out of 50 Bengals, so I can actually take out three Bengals, technically, and put somebody else in to make the squad better. So I'm going to be doing some upgrades soon to the squad. Uh, but our first upgrade, of course, is none other than T. Higgins. Uh, he finally got a card, and even though I very much, very much here, disagree with the fact that he got the 94 and not the 97 that Cheeto got, it is what it is. Okay, I'm not going to harp too much on it. It's just that I feel like it is bullcrap, and he should have gotten the 97, but it is what it is. Um, now Marvin Jones did get a 94 overall card. I do have to pick up as well. Uh, I can't pick up right now, but he's 111,000 coins. He's going to have 95 speed. So it's like, we finally are getting receivers actually to this squad. And then just like that, they're not having that great speed. <laughs> I also still got to pick up Chris Collinsworth. Again, like I said, there's still some players I got to pick up. Jesse Bates, the maxed out version. I still got picked out a pick up. Cheeto now is a brand new addition to the squad. We've got to pick him up. Um, again, just way crazy expensive price tags on all these cards. But right now, we're looking at around four or five new cards we've got to get. So, around four or five more cards in order to go ahead and max this squad out yet again. I am thankful that this is an all-time Bengal squad. And the reason why I say that is because of the fact that it's, you know, kind of easy to max out. Like, normal theme teams, especially when it comes to maxing them out, it will cost like 6 million coins every single time they get new cards. This squad, for the most part, is pretty serviceable. You know, it's not like anything too crazy. Like, for example, let's just go ahead and go through here real fast. So, we got T. Higgins. We just picked him up. We got Jamar Chase. Uh, we don't need him. We need him. We already got the running backs. We don't need Zach Moss or Joe Mixon. Uh, we got Fitz Magic, uh, Joe Burrow, we don't need. Um, tight end wise, we don't need. And then offensive line, except for Andrew Whitworth, which we don't have yet. We're going to get in the future. Uh, that's the only guy we need for the offensive line that we don't currently have. But again, like I said, we can't. So offensively, these are only three guys we need. Can't get him yet. These two guys um, are going to cost me 500,000 coins there. Which again, like I said, compared to other theme teams isn't really that bad um but all these other guys we do have which again like i said saves us a crap ton of coins 
Von Bell, which he should get a card sometime soon because he just signed back with us. So we should be able to get him on a, you know, a new card hopefully sometime soon. I also got to get DJ Reader's card, even though he did just sign with... He signed with the Lions. That hurts. And then there we go. So, and then I could also get rid of the special teams because we don't need any special teams. Um, so around 1.63 million coins is how much I have to save up for the rest of these cards. I got Jesse Bates, got to get Cheeto, got to get DJ Reader, uh, Jay, and then for offense, I got to get these three. So it's, uh, we're slowly getting there, you know, we're slowly getting there. And then of course I could also use some non bangles cause I have three spots available. So we're slowly creating a God Squad that's also an all-time Cincinnati Bengals squad. And keep in mind that all the champion cards and limited time cards today all get all 32 chems. So, for example, if we go over to month here and we go to all these guys right here, the 97s. Like, again, we get a free 97 overall, which actually I got to start preparing because he gets all 32 chems as well. And, again, all these guys do. Um, so, like, Mike Evans, if I get him, he gets 99 speed. I have 99. Actually, wait. I thought I said 99 speed. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, 96 speed I could get on the edge here. 99 speed on another cornerback. So, again, all these guys, the champion cards and the limited times, all get, you know, Bengals chem, which is a dub. And it looks like for the free Kendall Fuller card, you can't actually unlock his chemistry slot yet. You have to wait. So it looks like you can't unlock his, um, what's called, team chemistry until you start upgrading him a little bit. So I'm not going to be able to put um, Bengals chem on him yet. But I'll just have him slot in the bottom corner here at number 5. Um, because why not? So Kendall Fuller will eventually become... Probably, in all honesty, our tight end number three. And then Nate Wiggins will probably move down. Darius Slade moved down. And then so on and so on. And that's kind of how we're probably going to go about things here. Again, I'm going to try my best to pick up all the cards that came out today. And hopefully pick up, you know, some of these team captains. Because they do go ahead and give you some extra boost there. Um, but sadly from free agent promos, usually we, I feel like, at least I feel like this. I feel like we usually always get like a, like a 97 or a maxed out version of the card and we don't get it for this one. I guess we didn't get it for the last one either, but I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions though. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.